Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about the top engineering colleges in Mumbai. If you are an engineering student who wants to take admission in Mumbai, then this video is a must watch for you. Watch this video till the end as I'll be talking about these colleges in depth. Also, I will be covering everything from placements to even the fees of the college. Now, before going into the details and the review part of the colleges, let me first give a ranking to each of the colleges so that you have a brief overview of how to rank these colleges. On top, we obviously have the IIT Bombay. Uh, after that, we have ICT, Institute of Chemical Technology. After that, we have BJTI. And then there are a group of colleges that come under the same banner as such. Now, these colleges have some advantages and disadvantages which sets them apart from the other colleges. So if you're looking for taking admission in one of these colleges, then I highly recommend you to watch this video till the end. So let's get right into this video and talk about the top colleges in Mumbai. The top college in Mumbai is no doubt IIT Bombay. Its NIRF ranking is 3 uh, with its average package reaching up to 14 lakhs. Its highest package has even reached 1.16 crores with its highest domestic package reaching up to 62 lakhs. If you look at its fee structure, it is 8.55 lakhs for the whole 4 years program. Apart from this, a personal opinion, if you are getting any branch in IIT Bombay and if you want to stay in Mumbai and study, then IIT Bombay is your best bet. The placement scenario at IIT Bombay is quite good with 100% placements being offered to its students. Apart from this, the infrastructure of IIT Bombay is also well maintained. It also offers a huge campus with 550 acres and Wi-Fi is available almost all over the campus. Apart from this, IIT also hosts India's top two fests, that is the Tech Fest, which is the technical fest of IIT Bombay, and the Mood Indigo, which is the cultural fest. Now let's go over the next college that we have on our list, and that is the Institute of Chemical Technology. ICT's NIRF ranking was 18 with an average package of 7 lakhs whereas its highest package has even reached up to 17 lakhs per annum. ICT is specifically known for its chemical engineering branch only. If you are really interested in the chemical engineering branch then I would suggest you to keep ICT on the top of your list. Apart from this, its fee structure is also quite minimal with only 3.4 lakhs for the entire 4 years program. Now again, the placement scenario of ICT is also quite good with almost all the students getting placed. As you've already seen the packages, you can guess the placements are quite good with internships also being offered to its students. Now let's talk about the infrastructure at ICT. Labs are very well equipped and are really good for students who want to carry out research. Apart from this, Wi-Fi is available all over the campus and library is also spacious. Also, when it comes to chemical engineering, ICT tops the list with its curriculum. Uh, its curriculum is quite advanced and is in pace with what the industry expects out of you. Now let's talk about VJTI. VJTI's NIRF ranking has been 71. Its average package has been 5 lakhs. Uh, highest package has even touched 36 lakhs and the lowest package has been 3 lakhs. Now the most amazing thing about VJTI is its fee structure. It's only 60,000 for the entire four years program. Now let's get into the review part of it. Now, what I want to add in VJTI is that its brand value has been decreasing over the years. Now, this is just a personal opinion from me and the students studying at VJTI currently. Apart from this, the coding culture at VJTI is quite amazing. VJTI hosts some of the top Indian competitive programmers. Now, apart from this, VJTI has quite a huge campus. It has basketball court, cricket and football ground available there. Now, let's go over the next college that is KJ Somaya. And I'm not talking about the Cyan branch, I'm talking about the Vidya Vihar branch. This is the college that I'm currently studying in. Its NIRF ranking is 171. Its highest package has reached up to 18 lakhs per annum with its average package going to 5.57 lakhs. 
Now, the major disadvantage that KJ Somaya has is its fee structure. Its fee structure is on the high end with 11.44 lakhs for the entire four years program. Now, this is because KJ Somaya is fully autonomous and is not under Mumbai University. And it also sets its own curriculum. Now, this curriculum is set in accordance with the industry itself. So, whatever you study at KJ Somaya will be very useful for the industry directly. Apart from this, it has one of the biggest campuses and a very well-maintained campus. I'll show you some pictures about the campus of KJ Somaya and you can judge it for yourself. One thing that KJSCE lacks in is its location. Although metros have been built and its connectivity is being improved, though the location of KJSCE might be a problem for you. Apart from this, KJ Somaya hosts the best football as well as the best dance team in Mumbai. So if you really want to focus on the overall development of yourself, then I'd suggest that KJ Somaya should be on top of your list. Apart from this, the coding culture at KJ Somaya is like none other. It has many student clubs just focused for coding. Also, it has some of the best college fests and events. Now, one thing that I would like to add here is that KJ Somaya also has different colleges in the same campus. So you will find the College of Management, uh, Junior College, even the school in the same campus. Now let's go over the next college that is DJ Sangvi. Now DJ Sangvi has an average package of 4 lakhs per annum with its highest package even going up to 14 lakhs. The fees for DJ Sangvi is 7.76 lakhs for the entire 4 years program. Now DJ Sangvi lacks in campus but it makes up for that in its infrastructure. All the classrooms are air conditioned and even the canteen is quite amazing. But the best part about DJ Sangvi is its crowd. Also, the location of DJ Sangvi is right in the heart of Mumbai. So this gives it an edge over the other engineering colleges. Now let's talk about the next college that we have on our list and that is the SPIT. Sardar Patel Institute of Technology. Its average package is 7.69 lakhs with its highest package even reaching 39 lakhs per annum. The fee structure of SPIT is 4.2 lakhs for the entire four years program. Now remember SPIT and SPCE are different. SPIT stands for Sardar Patel Institute of Technology whereas SPCE is the Sardar Patel College of Engineering. SPCE is only for the core branches, whereas SPIT is for computer science and IT. Now, one thing that SPIT lacks is its crowd. Now, let's talk about the pros of SPIT. SPIT's placement scenarios are very good. You can get that idea from the packages offered to its students. The infrastructure of SPIT is also quite amazing. It has quite a huge campus as well. But the one thing that SPIT lacks in is its crowd. If you really want to enjoy the four years of your engineering then SPIT won't be your choice however if you want to focus on the placements and packages then yeah SPIT is the best one to offer that to you now there are other colleges as well that is NMIMS that is Mukesh Patel uh, Thakur Thadumal and even Rajiv Gandhi but I did not include it here rather I'll just be giving them a ranking and based on that ranking you can decide for yourself which college you want to pursue also the entire document will be available in the description box below so that's it for the video and if you have any views about these colleges then do write them in the comment section below do press the like button and subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow